Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Let's quickly do a September month video for you all. And uh, let's see what is going to happen in the life of my dear A sign Aquarian. Let's start with Aquarius for the month of September. This is for my dear Aquarius, what is going to happen in their life overall in general in love and otherwise as well this is for my dear aquarius what is going to happen in the life of my dear aquarius please okay we have the chariot justice Eight of Wands, we have Knight of Swords, we have Four of Cups, we have the Tower. I somewhere down the line I feel Aquarius that for the month of September there is some kind of direction you are choosing. There is some kind of direction that you are choosing and you are moving forward towards that direction. Okay, you are moving forward and with, with a very fast pace because with eight of wands i see that there is something that uh you were waiting for there is something some break that happened in your life because of which you know you felt a little directionless there were things that came to an end in your life because of which you felt very directionless and you went off balance all of a sudden okay you went off balance all of a sudden i feel it is a love connection you got connected with somebody and uh, all of a sudden you realize that you know i am feeling off balance here i'm feeling directionless here there was uh, something that you were uh, there was somebody that you were connected with you are not in touch with them anymore i see that you're not in touch with them anymore but at the same point of time i also feel that uh, even if you're not in touch with this person anymore sorry I'm just fixing my camera angle so that you are able to view the cards. Even if you're not in touch with them anymore, I see that at the bottom of the deck, you tried moving on. You tried breaking the connection because I feel that either you or them offered their cup of love and you did not accept it. There was some aggressive conversation that happened between you both. There was a lot of messaging, a lot of email exchange, and I see you may also be traveling. I see a lot of anxiety, a lot of uh, sleepless nights. I feel, uh, I feel in the past that you were stuck, you were burdened with your past, and you tried to move on from this person. So all the negative cards are here of stuck, uh, of being stuck, of uh, trying to move on, of uh, shedding off the burden, the load from your shoulders and feeling directionless, not able to sleep at night. And I feel that you have taken charge in your hands. You are now driving your life right now. Okay, you are trying to drive your life right now. I see that this particular in this particular connection, either you or your person was quite in and out. And uh, the energy that I see here is quite hot and cold. At time, you or your person was something and then the other time they were something else. I feel Aquarian, this is your energy because I feel that now in the coming month of September, you're trying to find a direction, you know. You tried to move on. You couldn't move on because every time it was quite in and out. You tried to shed off your past burdens. You tried to find a direction. You were feeling very sleepless. You took the authority, the charge of your life. But things did not work out. You tried to move on. You tried to shed off everything, your past baggages. But this person kept on coming back to you. Yeah, this person. This is your person's energy. You tried moving on. This person kept on coming back to you every now and then. Just when you tried to move on, this person came back. Just when you try to move on, this person again came back, right? So this is your person's energy right here. Okay, this is your person's energy right here. I'm going to keep it here. Okay. But in the month of September, I see that you're trying to choose a direction. You're trying to balance out your life because this person is going in and out in your in your life. Is, is, is coming in, you know, is coming and then leaving, is coming and then leaving. You're trying to move on from this person, but you're being unsuccessful here. 
you're trying to choose a direction you want to arrive to a direction you want to balance your life you want to have a fair approach now towards this person i see there's a fast paced communication coming up with this person but don't be too aggressive because i see that you are charging towards this person who has offered you a cup of love you are rejecting them again because of your past here you're still looking at your past you're not looking at the present you're not looking at the future you're looking at your past you're sulking in your past you're still sad about your past you're still trying to um reject everything which you which you have been offered right now because you are still living your past you want to break this connection you have already broken this connection the, you know you've already told this person that you know i don't want to be in touch with you you giving them a cold shoulder in the month of september as well but at the same point of time they you know that this person is very caring and you also feel very caring and nurturing towards this person you feel that this person has a lot of abundance this is a grounded person this is somebody that can make my life you feel emotionally so connected with this person within the next one month i feel that you know you guys are going to connect emotionally on a different level but then again you have trust issues there you have been betrayed in the past and that is what you are projecting in this connection as well aquarian in the month of september as well you are behaving in the same fashion let's see what is the outcome what is the outcome for my dear aquarian here What is the outcome for my dear Aquarian here? Again, you being a little domi dominating, a little authoritative. You being egoistic, Aquarian. Do you really want to be like that with your person? And does your person have any fault? They are not from your past, right? They are in your present. What are you punishing them for? right you're being authoritative you're being judgmental you're being rude you're being indecisive you're being unsure of your feelings you are kind of thinking and overthinking about situation you want marriage okay you are somebody who has a traditional and this person also who you're connected with you know that they want marriage but then you right now is unable to decide and you have decided that you know i want to focus on my career i want to make some money i want to make a good career and i want to stay single i want to focus on my career but at the same point of time you're looking at this person and you're thinking that this person is way too good for me financially uh stable abundant what is it that they are lacking in nothing but then your past comes back haunting you betrayal backstabbing and the pain that you're still carrying again you are thinking about your connection with this person should you or should you not offer them the cup of love in the month of september as well i see that you may be sending a message to them but then again you know i see that you are feeling what if this person also leaves if i invest my emotions and this person also uh, runs away feeling me depressed sad and questioning myself how will i be able to recover how will i be able to come out of it what is it that i need to do you are somebody that is a commitment phobia you know you are you are actually showing the toxic nature here this is you you being toxic in this connection with queen of wands you know that this lady or this person this you are connected with is somebody who is very caring very nurturing very passionate with whom you feel so uh, happy and you know full of joy but then i see things are going to improve for you whatever questions that you were looking for dear aquarian in the month of october things are going to improve and you're going to feel a much more relaxed and relieved and you're going to feel joy and happiness you will get some clarity but then that clarity as well you're going to keep it to yourself you're not going to discuss it with anybody in the month of september as well you are definitely going to get clarity so in the month of september i see that you are still in the solitude state of mind you're not disclosing anything and we got queen of pentacles and now we have king of pentacles you guys are actually the divine counterparts here you both are divine counterparts here right and you are also focusing on money you are also thinking about you know making a future 
stabilizing your career but you're not happy you're not feeling content you're still sad because you couldn't balance out this particular connection you couldn't for few of you i feel that you may be donating something in ngos or helping out few poor people feeding them or donating something or the other kind of doing some kind of charity but then also trying to balance your life in the month of september because you're sulking okay you're moving you're trying to move on you're unable to move on because you have emotions you are kind of stuck and you're sulking you really don't know which direction to go to move forward right and because of your indecisiveness you're feeling that heartache that pain in your heart right that pain in your heart you're trying to recover you're trying to balance you keeping patience but then again i see that you're thinking about a family life you want to get married you want to get stable and i see in next one month you will get some or the other clarity some kind of wisdom some kind of idea which will make you step forward into 10 of pentacles here you will get out of the stuck energy and you may even commit to this person bypassing all the challenges shedding off all the past baggage and burdens uh coming out of the cold energy and moving forward to the, towards this person with a cup of love a commitment a happy stable family life and putting your walls down leaving all the anxiety and past packages behind and aquarius this is your card a wish fulfillment healing and you are also stalking this person right you want to be in love you want to commit to this person you want to move forward from whatever things that you have faced you want to move forward from it and you want to have your entire world changed you want to move into a different level of commitment and your world will change you are manifesting a reconciliation with this person by the end of september offering them a love or a cup of love and i see a logical practical communication also coming up for you a grounded uh, message or a communication coming out of your confusion thinking about your future with them whatever memories that you have you're leaving them behind of your bad past creating new memories with this person apologizing towards them you know and coming out of the indecisive mode and getting an emotional satisfaction let's see let's see what is it what are the messages we have from your person let's see what is it that your person wants to tell you this is for my dear aquarius this is for my aquarius please you are my wish come true like i said <laughs> i am working hard for our future of course i want to focus on my career right now so your person wants to focus on their career right now as i said i feel suffocated sometimes i can't dream of course they are trying to be with you i miss you they do miss you because you're kind of gone into a shell i will you marry me they want to know whether you will marry them or not because they want to i got scared and build a wall around me so that i don't get hurt right i want you in my arms now and i want to go stargazing with you beautiful amazing messages dear aquarians and uh, thank you so much for tuning in everybody do like share subscribe and comment uh, on my channel any cross watchers do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for tuning in see you later bye bye